don't need to remind me, it's my favorite day of the week. Trip to the Thrift Thursday, guys. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well. We've got four op shops to get stuck into today, and I'm very, very excited about it. The genuine sense of optimism that I have when I wake up, knowing that it's another chance to find some real heat out in the thrift. You're gonna come along for the ride. Let's get stuck into it. We've got about a 20 minute drive to get into the first one, and it's 8.30, so perfect timing. Looking forward to getting into it, guys. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Let's do it. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, we are back on here. I'm feeling pretty good about things. You know, I always think when you start your day, the first trip, the first op shop you get into really sets the tone for the day. And based on what we've just done there, we're gonna have a great day. Let me turn the air on because like I say all the time, it gets very, very hot in here. Give me one second. All right, guys, let's get into it. Uh, the first item up here is the boxing gloves and the focus pads. Now, $10 tag on this one, but I sell this on Facebook Marketplace pretty comfortably between $30 to $40. It's a really good Facebook Marketplace item, at least where I am anyway. It just does tend to go on to sell really fast. So had to pick that one up for $10. Should be able to turn into a $20 to $30 profit pretty comfortably. Uh, remember, no fees when it comes to Facebook Marketplace. Guys, this was just a ripping fine. This was the 2017 Richmond Tigers New Era Premier's hat. Now, I'm not too sure what this is worth. I'm going to put it onto eBay as an auction and just see if it can't take off. And I think it might because it's a really sought after item here. 2017 Premier's hat, genuine product and the new era brand. Really stoked to get that. That's just an awesome find there. Um, I've also been able to find these Wrangler jeans. Now, there was a $5 tag on the Wrangler jeans, as you can see there. So, five bucks there on the Wrangler. Um, definitely grab this brand if you can find it out in the thrift. It does go on to sell pretty well on eBay. This is a size 33, 32 length. So, the size was a pretty good one. And they are in a very, very good condition. Men's jeans do love to find it, do love to sell it. So, that was a good one there. Also found these as well. Now, this one was crazy. Tommy Hill figure cargo shorts. These are a size 32 waist. It's got a little flag on the back as well. So that was a really, really cool find, but I found another one. And then after that, I kept scrolling and I found another one. We have got three pairs of these Tommy Hilfiger cargo shorts, size 32 waist. I paid five bucks each. So 15 bucks on those. I'm going to try and turn them into 30 bucks free postage, turn it into 90 free postage type scenario um, of $15 purchase. That was just really cool. Um, I've also found these as well. I won't spend too much time on these. It's the Brisbane Broncos Quicksilver Cross uh, board shorts. They should go on to sell for a few. Uh, size small Led Zeppelin. Oh, sorry, not Led Zeppelin. I'll show you Led Zeppelin now. Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Um, look, I thought that was pretty cool. That was only a size small though, but I had to get it because it was the Zep. Um, and then, oh, this one as well was really cool as well. Size small, MTV Music. Thanks very much. I thought I'd just nick that one. This was a really nice Oakley polo shirt too. So I thought I'd grab that for $4. That was just really nice. There was nothing wrong with it. It's really much in light new condition. So that was going into my basket as well. Um, I found the Mrs. Brown's Boys. Now this was the big box set. One, two, three, and the Christmas special, if you don't mind. Brand new sealed. So this one was talking to me for about $30 on eBay. I think there was even a $40 comp as well. So I've paid uh, $5 for that one and um, yeah, turn it into 30. Always buy a boxed, brand new, sealed. You're going to make a few. Um, I also found the Divergent series in the books as well, guys. Now there's three of these and um, oh, look, the comps on these were going for about, I 
think about 30 bucks. So it's not a massive win on these, but I pay, uh, there was an $8 tag as well. So eight bucks into 30 bucks, we're talking a very small profit, maybe about $15, but I still thought I'd pick it up because it's a good book series. It's common, it's popular. It probably goes on to sell fast. Um, another one of the books, it's a Bolo book brand, uh, Bolo book range, I should say. Now this one is Ranger Apprentice. I've paid a dollar each for these books. I've got five of them. I am gonna hold on to them because as you'll see here, if you get about 12 of them, they do go on to sell for over $100. So just one to look out for guys. I thought I'd buy it to show you guys what to look out for. Ranger's Apprentice in the books. If you do find it, grab it because that is a bit of a collector's item on eBay. Um, I was also able to find a couple of games in the Wii uh, game setup as well. So I found Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, this is a bit of a lucky dip. I've not done any comps on this one. Have a look here. Let me know if it's a good one. Um, but I grabbed that and it does have the game in it as well. A couple of times I've been burnt by not checking for games. Always check to make sure the disc is actually in there. I found Carnival Games as well. Again, just on a whim. I hope I've done well there. I've just picked him up. Uh, he was only a dollar. One dollar Wii games, guys. Unbelievable. And then this is a Bolo game. I know that for sure. Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii. This one on the back has a not for individual sale tag. So I don't know if that's what causes the value of these comps to be so high but sure enough the game is in there as well so that one was a real bolo find stoked to find that in there for just a dollar uh, that's going to turn me into a few pretty quick so i also bought the halo posters that you would have seen me throw into the back of the car one was six dollars one was eight dollars um I don't know why, but I just think Halo goes on to sell well. And I've never bought a picture frame of any kind before, just like those. Uh, but they will be a Facebook Marketplace sales item because I don't, want to, I don't want to deal with shipping that sort of thing. It's quite big and bulky. Prefer not to stress with that. Let's whack it on a Facebook Marketplace and we see how we go. So look, I've bought all of this, guys, and it's, I've, I've actually ended up paying $43. Um, I've got the receipt here. Uh, $43. Uh, there it is there, 43 bucks. Now, there are 22 items for $43. She has given me a ridiculous discount and I've not asked for it. I've just gone in there and seen her every week and had a bit of a brief conversation, not trying to get anything out of it. I was just trying to be a nice person. And sure enough, she's gone to the till and she said, look, 43 bucks. There is no rhyme, method or reason as to why it's $43. She's just given me a massive discount and I truly can't thank her enough. Um, look, just build the relationships with you guys out in the op shops. It's amazing what can happen. And buying these items for such a cheap price, 43 for 22 items works out to about $2 per item that you've seen here. So there's gonna be a lot of profit made off this first trip. And I'm really excited to get into the next three, but I just thought I'd highlight that as well. And getting a really good discount, it ultimately helps with your overall profit at the end of the day. So we kick things off well, guys. I'm really stoked about this to start it off. Um, let's get into three more and hopefully we can continue to build on what is always a really good start. Righto guys, off shot number two, let's dive into it. I've only got a couple of items out of this one and just polar opposites from a pricing perspective. I walked into that and got the really good deal in the first one and then I've come into this and I've actually paid a little bit. But um, that's okay because they were really good items. I really cherry picked what I thought would be the best of the thrift. Um, I ended up finding these guys. Now, thanks very much to Rally Roots and their YouTube channel because I wouldn't have known about these shoes if I didn't watch those guys. These are the Keen hiking boots. Keen is a really good brand and when you do the comps on eBay, no one of those guys over there in the States picks these shoes up because they go on to sell very well. These are in basically light new condition. I can hopefully push upwards of $100 for these shoes and I've only paid 10 bucks in the thrift. So really cherry picked a really nice pair of shoes there. They are a nice one. Had to grab those and thank you to the Rally Roots YouTube channel for that information. Um, I also 
found this um, another ripping item. I paid $12 for this, guys, so I have paid a little bit more, but it was the um, Melbourne Storm. Uh, Melbourne Storm rain jacket, um, windbreaker, size large, men's, um, really much, very much in like new condition, this one. It was just an awesome grab. Look, 12 bucks, I'm not too phased because I do think I can turn that one into about 60 bucks free postage on eBay. So that one's gonna turn me into a couple of bucks. And then I also found the Harley Davidson manual as well. Now this is a 1996 Harley Davidson owner's manual. I think this is more of a collector item for somebody out there. Harley Davidson just goes on to sell very well. I'm always looking out for Harley Davidson when I'm in the thrift. And owner's manual, look, it's a first for me. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I thought I'd pick it up. I also paid a few dollars for it. I paid about five bucks, but just off my own personal thoughts, I'm thinking maybe $30 for this one on eBay and we'll just see how we go with it. So um, look, five bucks there, 10 and 12. We're gonna end up paying $27. For those items i paid 43 for 22 in the first thrift so um look not too bad because i think those three items are going to go on to sell pretty well so i'm really happy with that a really short sharp run there op shop number two but i still think some really quality items let's keep moving op shop number three i'm feeling good about it I don't know if you can see that outside guys, but it is actually raining quite heavily out there. Um, I've had to run in really quickly from the uh, op shop to the car because I've been able to pick up this VCR and it wasn't one to be sitting out in the weather, but it has been shrink wrapped. So we're not too bad there. Now I've done a comp for this one on eBay. The best way to do hard good comps is to find the model number. Now the model number is actually at the back of the VCR or any of the electronics equipment. It's generally tucked at the back. I just did a search for that number on eBay and I did find this comp that was telling me I could potentially get around $140 including postage for it. So look, I've paid $40 for it. Believe it or not, the old school VCRs do go on to sell. I was really fortunate that this is shrink wrapped. It does have the cables, the remote and the manual. So this one's all set to sell. Um, hopefully I can get the full $140 for it. Don't be afraid to pay a little bit more if you know you can get some good money for items. I've spent $40 there, but I just know that I can profit from it, so I'm happy to buy it. So don't be afraid to spend a little bit extra. Um, also found these footy boots. Now it's footy boot season, guys. You know how you know how much I love my footy. Um, I picked these up for $12. They're molded studs. I like to buy molded studs because the metal studs, some sports don't allow it. So always look for molded. These are a good brand, obviously Adidas. The Stealth Black, I think, will go on to sell well. I paid 12 bucks but I think I'll be able to sell it between $40 and $50 based on my past footy boot sales. So awesome to grab that one there. It was a good size as well. We're talking a size 11, so a really good result there. And then I also found this French Football Federation men's polo shirt. This is a size large. It's a Nike brand. It's got the embroidery and the logo right there for the French Football Federation. Very stoked to find that one. I think there'd be a Frenchman around the streets of the Gold Coast that would very much like to buy that on Facebook Marketplace. If not, I'll put it up on eBay and hopefully we can get the job done there. $50 spent, guys. Um, Sorry, $57 spent there, three items. Majority of the spend, obviously, with the VCR, but I'm pretty happy with that. Cherry picked again out of an off shot that had some pretty outrageous pricing, to be fair, but um, I've come away with a couple of really good ones. So, really good there, and uh, let's move on to off shop number four, finish with a bang. I always like to finish it with a bang, so let's get into it.
to finish on a bang and that is exactly what we have done huge finish let's get in the car I'll show you what i got well guys i am wrapped i do like to finish with a bang and sure enough we have finished with an absolute bang i've got a stack of shoes here that i really want to take you through um there's going to be a bit of money made i've spent on average between five and eight dollars as you would have seen in that clip on all of these shoes individual pricing so the first one that i've got is a pair of x-blade men's footy boots now these ones are a size uh, 11 so that's not too bad look the x-blade brand i probably wouldn't you know go after all the time it's probably not the best brand in my personal opinion but for eight dollars and they are in great condition. I had to grab them. Um, these were really nice. A pair of ASICS men's running shoes. They're a white color, obviously. Um, they're a size US nine and a half. They're the Gel DS Trainer 17s. Uh, I've paid $6. I don't know if you're gonna see that there, but there's a $6 ticket. Ridiculous pricing. Um, I've also found this New Balance pair of men's footy boots as well. Similar story with these guys. I'm gonna try and turn them into about $40 to $50, especially given the time of the year. They should move. Uh, I found these New Balance men's shoes as well. Well, now these are a size, uh, yeah, we've got a size eight. So I don't like to buy anything under a size eight. So that's why I grabbed these. I had a really good look through for condition and obviously for size. And I've been able to pick out some pretty good shoes here. So they are one of them. And uh, oh, these are almost the pick of the bunch, really. These are the Gel Nimba 16s. I believe they're women's running shoes. They're a size US seven and a half, which isn't too bad in the women's range. They will go upwards. I've paid I paid eight dollars, but they'll go upwards of sixty to seventy bucks. I dare say. So that was just an awesome find, probably the best one that I had. Um, these Puma shoes as well. These only cost me eight dollars. Uh, look at the, look at the fat laces, the little bow laces on them as well. These are going to sell because they're in pretty much like new condition. They're a size US seven. Uh, again, not too bad for the women's range. So I grabbed those. And just like the Keens I found earlier, I found another brand of hiking shoe. These are Gore-Tex, so they're very, very heavy duty. Um, these are Saliwa, which I haven't really found too much of, but I've paid $5 for these hiking shoes and they retail for around 180 bucks. They're in great condition. The soles are in really good nick and I've paid, yeah, five bucks for them. So do look out for your hiking boots, guys, because there is a bit of money to be made in that category. Uh, the Keens and the Saliwas, I think I'll be able to make a couple of bucks on all of those. So what's that? That's like seven or eight pairs of shoes and I, it cost me $48 for those seven or eight pairs of shoes. I think the average sale price of every single one of those will be about $48. So just a huge profit there, a really great grab to end the session. Um, fourth op shop just came through for us, which was awesome. Look, I don't know exactly how many items I've picked up today, but I dare say it would be upwards of 40 to 50. Um, so just a really huge trip to the thrift. A lot of money made in this one. I need to go back. I need to itemize them out in my spreadsheet and then I need to get listing. I want to list up 15 of these items today. Hopefully a few of them sell before Sunday's episode. Man, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. I, I do these videos to try and help you guys find items like this that is proven to go on and sell on eBay. And um, I have a lot of fun doing these videos. So appreciate you tuning in. If you are still here now and you have enjoyed any of it and you haven't yet, hit the subscribe or the like button, please go ahead and do so. It is very much a pleasure, a pleasure having you tune into this video and uh, I do look forward to catching you in the next one. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.